So I'm here in Cleveland, Ohio, and it's been a while since I've visited. Let me tell you, my cousins remind me of it all the time. You know, the food scene is really blown up here. And with so much culture, when I hear that there's a Greek joint where they're importing their own goods, you know I gotta check it out. This is Astoria Cafe and Market. I have gyro, falafel ready. Astoria is probably the most authentic Mediterranean restaurant in Cleveland. You can go all out and get a four course meal, or you can just come grab a beer and a pizza. All right, I'm dropping pasta. It's a place to get fine imported wine and cheeses. Which is how cousins George Conzios, Howard Meatballs, and Steve Daniels first rolled out, leaning into their Greek heritage in the import business. We started literally as a wholesale and wanted to do primarily Mediterranean products. This is awesome. Beautiful market, love the deli case. Tomates. And when they expanded into a full-blown restaurant, they brought in chef Corey Kabrinsky to keep the Mediterranean vibe alive. I've got the Via Lima Ricotta meatballs. Best thing on the menu is the meatballs because the flavor that comes out of them, it's different layers. Veal and lamb with the cheese. One of the best I've ever had. And we are making veal lamb and ricotta cheese meatballs. Nice lamb shoulder, and then we got a veal chuck roll here. Cut this into strips, partially freeze to get it cold for grinding. Let's do it, buddy. Well, we're going to start off by building our ricotta mix. Where's this out of? Italy. Beautiful. I've never seen ricotta come in a can. Parsley, minced garlic, kosher salt. That's creamy. Black pepper, matsutake shoyu. That's what I was just going to say. You just took this completely out of the Mediterranean and went <laughs> I like to put Cleveland flares on things is what we say. Did your eyes light up when you said it? A little bit. <laughs> Take our milk and cream mixture, add to the panko breadcrumb. Then we'll mix in the veal and the lamb, form the meatballs, dredge them in flour, fry them in some olive oil, just get a nice crispy outside, and then we'll finish in the oven. I love it. Next step, I'm making our house tomato sauce. Olive oil, butter, red pepper flakes. That great Greek oregano. And our minced garlic. San Marzano's. Give it a stir to incorporate everything. Add our sachet of carrots, yellow onions, okay. basil stems, and a little bit of garlic. Dude, I thought that was a pillowcase full of stuff. <laughs> Cops are coming, drop it. <laughs> and let that simmer for about three hours. Finish it with fresh parsley, oregano, and basil. And a little salt and pepper. And uh, fish sauce. You're going to get us both kicked out of Cleveland. We'll get into making the pasta. All-purpose flour, semolina flour, eggs, and egg yolks. Salts. Traditional pasta. We're hand mixing the dough, letting it rest for about 30 minutes, and then we'll start sheeting it. And are we doing fettuccine? We're going to end with fettuccine. Anything else we're making? Do you want to go throw the pottery for the plate in the back? So our house made pasta is done. I like to add a little bit of butter, a little bit of Parmesan. Why, because my kids are showing up? Nothing yeah. better than a buttered noodle. Make me a t-shirt that says that. Pull our meatballs out of the oven, finish with our tomato sauce, some nice aged Parmesan. Gosh, so light it almost flew away. That is without question one of the most tender, fluffiest, lightest flavor blooming balls I've ever had. A little unique richness that comes in from the lamb. And the pasta is delicious too. And the tomato sauce is spot on, very nice and rustic. That's what we call a destination meatball. That would go in the Flavortown Hall of Fame. That just lights out. All right, I'm gonna finish these meatballs here in a sec. How's the meatball? Nice and fluffy. With a good glass of red wine, it's a good meal. This is amazing. Legit? Super legit.